Hey guys, I am in Banff National Park. I'm at the Taylor Lake Trailhead. I am back out here again. Oh, Mid-October, I can't believe I'm uh, I'm pushing this late, but I mean, this is only like 6.7 kilometers from the trailhead. So yeah, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to not be like, well, what's the worst that can happen? You know, if two feet of snow falls, I can probably have a day of hell and tramp through two feet of snow out of here. Pretty nice views just from the parking lot. Well, as far as I know, I'm the only one to book the campground tonight. Plus a few other people did last minute, so. Probably going to run into some day hikers. Okay, off and running. One of the big reasons I want to do this backpack now is because it's very popular in the summer. So this is a good time to get out here and check it out. Banging this one off the list. It's also not a real challenge, obviously, so I don't mind using a couple of days to check it out. Okay, know yourself, know the trail, know your gear. The trail is only 6.7 kilometers and Banff National Park is very popular. I'm not gonna have any problems with this. I mean, look at this. This is, this is fricking the Autobahn of trails. Pretty amazing. Um, know your gear. The thing about my gear in this case is just that it's October and I have to sleep. In this, it's good weather. Good weather forecast, otherwise I wouldn't be out here. I have my minus 10 bag, I have long underwear, I've got everything I had less than a week ago when I was on Lewis Lake. And that was pretty high elevations, much higher than the lake's gonna be. So there yourself. Well, obviously 6.7 kilometers there. And then I'm planning to do some day hiking. And same thing for tomorrow. That's not much of a challenge for Not so much of a challenge for me, so I think I'm good. First time seeing Taylor Creek. It's a little uh, sidebar off the trail. I know I'm coming to a bridge over it pretty quickly. Uh, bridge number one. Well, I should pay a bit more attention to trail descriptions. Now I see uh, the comparison of the elevation of the trailhead and the comparison of the lake that I got 600 meters to climb. <laughs> it starts now. Yeah, you know, it's uh, all part of the fun. Trail's starting to get a little interesting. Look at all the rocks. Well, not far. Maybe another eight, nine hundred meters to the lake. Definitely got the sense that most of my climb is done, so that's nice. Woo! All right. The second bridge over Taylor Creek. 600 meters to the campground. It is sadly still going up a little bit, but not too, too bad. I am 200 meters away from the lake apparently, and I still have service on my phone, wow. If you want a place where you can stay connected with the world, this is it. Ah. Okay, O'Brien Lake, Boom Lake. I want to come do this early later. This is a uh, day hike. All right, I made it. I can just start to see the lake over there. I hadn't actually seen it yet. All right, let's go check all this out. Oh, how 
nice. I met a couple up here. They've been chatting for like 20 minutes. And they even left me uh, potato chips and some cookies. Kind of nice. I think I'm going to finish these off. It's a beautiful, beautiful spot. Like, wow. Man. Yeah, this is pretty sick. This is what you call a mixed message. On the internet, I checked and it said no fires. And here you have a fire pit. Park staff have recently been here and cut stumps, left a boatload of wood. So are you allowed fires or not? <laughs> like, like what's that about? Well, got my tent set up. Didn't really worry about setting, there's no numbers in the trees. There's no numbered sites. As far as I'm concerned, that means I can set up wherever. This stuff is already flattened, so I'm not too worried about setting up down here. It's nice to have a view from the tent, but honestly, that's not my thinking. My thinking is that I wanna be able to get some sun in the morning. So as soon as the sun comes up, I wanted to hit my tent. I'm in the trees, forget it. It's already crispy up here. Like, it is gonna be a chilly, chilly night. But I mean, that's middle of October, man. That's what you get when you come out here. Okay. Everything is set up here. There's bear boxes and everything. Makes things nice and easy as far as storing the food. I'll do a little day hike to O'Brien Lake. Alrighty, I'm back here. Just like got a little bridge over here. It's all right. Not well defined beyond this point. All right, challenge accepted. <laughs> There's still frost up here. <laughs> it's like. 3.30 in the afternoon, the frost is still here. Yeah, it could be an interesting evening. Might not be well defined in their definition, but it's still getting trail maintenance, so. I have to assume that it gets worse than this. I've seen perfectly good trails with absolutely no sign whatsoever saying that they're not well defined in Jasper National Park, and they're much worse than this. Tell you that much. This is a perfectly nice trail so far. Well, the trail descended for a little while and then it started to come back up. And now we've turned right, starting to head right for O'Brien Lake. Gotta climb about 200 more feet to get there. Alrighty, bit of a little crossing of the outlet from uh, O'Brien Lake. Got a bit of a sign over here. I think that's the intersection for Boom Lake. Okay, made a waypoint out of that. One day I think I'll go up to Boom Lake and then I'll hike back here. I'll try and do the whole circuit. Maybe as a day hike, maybe not. Maybe as a backpack. Ugh. In the meantime, there's a real nice trail going up here, which I think is the one that goes to O'Brien, as opposed to back there, talking about, yeah. Here you can see the trail gets a little mucked up. You can see normally it's muddy and maybe a little bit wet. Here in October though, it's just not that difficult. It's not hard to figure out where to go. It's all quite well tramped down. Wow, there is ice. Wow, look at all the frost up here and the lake is beginning to freeze over. 
<laughs> wow. I am up here late in the season. Really not easy to get rocks. You gotta get over to the water. All this is frozen into the ground. Okay. Oh my God. Did you hear that sound? That's like a sound out of Star Wars, man. Okay, way high in the air. Let's try this. Wow. There's no way I can step on this. Wouldn't that be insane? It's... <laughs> no surprises there. Still over there, it's, yeah. Those two rocks, it bore the brunt just fine. Huh, crazy. Well, I was sure I would find a, a fire ring in here, but nothing yet. You know, this trail it just keeps right on going down here. So what else is down here? Yeah, kind of figured. Totally covered in larch needles. I don't think it's been used very much lately, but yeah, I kind of figured I'd find something illegal up here. Oh, and toilet paper right here. That's adorable. Well, I'm not sure. There's kind of a trail all on the lake that comes here, probably mostly from wildlife. And maybe you can also climb up here and climb up. I don't know if you wanted to climb this. This is now not uh, Mount Bell. That's Mount Bell. Anyway, this is as far as I want to explore, at least along this side of the lake. I don't know if you can hear that, but one little complaint about Taylor and even here at O'Brien I can still hear loud vehicles on the highway because it's really not that far away. As the crow flies, we're talking four or five kilometers. So yeah, you're in these beautiful montane settings, wonderful lakes, but you can still hear traffic on the highway. It's a bit of a challenge getting across all the little big long rock hop across this end, but now I'm over here and I'm in the sun, so that's kind of nice. That would explain why some parts of the lake are not frozen. <laughs> the sun gets some of it. Okay. What do we got here? I can already see sort of some little trails coming through here. Yeah, this is well tamped down. Whenever you get anything near Banff, I mean, people are out here hiking it, right? There is a route on all trails that goes up... Um, Mount Bell. So, sure enough, here you got this really well beaten down path going on here. Unfortunately, lots of people means this kind of thing happens. And I'm sure this just dropped out of someone's pack. I'm going to hang it on a tree. I'm going to pick it up on the way back. It's not heavy. I don't have that much of a load. So I'll just carry it out. That's a pretty awesome shot too, over Brian Lake. Well, that's not a surprise at all. The climbers come here and want to get as close to the, to the climb from Mount Bell as they can. So, so far it's pretty easy to, you know, there's a pretty easy trail to follow. The reason I even thought of this is it's in Don Beer's book. He talks about there's a couple of, woo, a couple of Terrans that are up above O'Brien. And I got time, so why don't I go check them out? There's the inlet. Nice tamp down ground coming across, going up. 
Pretty easy so far, it's just a matter of climbing. Phew. Pretty easy to bushwhack through, you know, lots of, it's very open. Very open. I'm starting to wonder what this open space is now. First turn is supposed to be 200 meters over there. Makes sense. A little stream has made itself an inlet here. An inlet, a little pond. Phew, all right, that way. That's quite nice there. I have reached the larches, but a lot of the needles are gone off them. They don't have that bright yellow look anymore. It's neat to see what happens in here. There's so many large needles that the forest floor is actually yellow. Like they're just, they're like an inch thick. Well, it's an obstacle for sure. It goes around the corner too. I feel like this will work. And it's really only one way to find out. It looks like it's good. Yeah. It worked out okay. All right. Well, here's a little something, but not the Terran I'm thinking of. There you go. After that climbing, I have to descend to these two. <laughs> like if I want to go up right alongside that other one. Well, I do. Oh, I can hear the train and the train whistle. Oh my God. All the way out here. That's crazy. Jeez, man, I almost got clipped out trying to get down this thing. I came down here and then I had to sidestep down like that. It's funny that like the little puddles are fine. They're not frozen, but the deep stuff is. Yeah. Feel like this will be a bit of a neat little moment here. All right. Foot shot. Cool. So people doing Mount Bell, they get up all this somehow and then they come up here. I wonder what's the actual peak of the thing. Rocks too. Ugh. See if I can't get to the water. That'll be a hard throw. Ugh. Nope. Really got to skip well, and I need more power and smaller rock. Uh, what have we got here? All right, that's a little smaller. Ugh. Nope. I lose too much. Doesn't make that delightful poing sound that the other ones did. Ah, a little bit. Ah, it's fun to play around like a little kid sometimes. <laughs> That's enough playing around. I think I've given myself enough time to get back pretty easily so but no sense lollygagging too long darkness comes instead of climbing over this thing this time I'm gonna see if I can't just follow the the stream through that that looks a lot better hopefully it works out do scramblers go up this I don't know that looks pretty uh yeah maybe around the corner there's maybe there's something around that corner there there's something a little different quite a nice shot of that circle right there that basin 
Okay. Yeah, this seems to be working out okay. I went off in that direction and ran into that wall of rock, so I managed to figure that out. The outlet must come from that one and just completely traverse under rocks and go to this guy because I don't see anything as far as and it pops out over there. And I just noticed there's the mountain range that I was looking at from the car. Yeah, shows how far I really haven't gone. It's mostly elevation. There we go. Back down beside O'Brien Lake. There's a couple of places that get steep, but it's not hard to figure out. And now I'm back down on a, a beaten down path. And yeah, it's, uh, nothing complicated from here on out, getting back to Taylor Lake. I mean, you can't see it much here, but I just kept following the trail that's on that side of the lake all the way down here. I never crossed the, uh, the outlet. The beaten down pass, some trees in the way. Now there's this, which would probably bring me back. And now there's this too, which still isn't the normal trail, which is, I mean, clearly you can see there's big stuff down across it, but yeah, it's going in the right direction. So, woo. Yeah, a little adventure. Keep on going, keep trucking. It'll hook up with the main trail pretty quick, I think. There you go. Just down there is the intersection for a boom lake. Where I popped out of, you can't even really see, so. <laughs> you know, make your own way. That's a little fun anyway. I don't know if the lake is even calmer now, but it is like glass. For those interested, that took me about two and a half hours. Uh, having double soup. I've had some amazing views while I'm eating dinner this year, man. And this is, this is just as good as any of them. This is pretty awesome. Well, I've been reading for all the Blake Louise, Don Beers. Don Beers actually makes interesting guides. I mean, they're hard to track down, though. I mean, I had to go on the internet to find used copies of his books. Because, yeah, I mean, you know, he published them as a labor of love. He didn't make any money off them. They're full of pictures, and yeah, it's just... Anyway... I, uh, yeah, I've been reading for a while. It's all you can really do, right? I didn't want to start a fire. It says I'm not supposed to, even the, with the conflicting, you know, firewood and fire pit. Anyway, uh, yeah. Good night.